Hi guys, we are back with another Get Ready With Us video. We are going for an exciting event tonight. Yes, it's a Christmas event, Christmas party event. So we thought we're gonna do a crazy makeup look on the camera and hair and yeah, get ready with you guys. So let's, let's get do started. It. All right, I'm going to go in with the primer. This is my favorite one. I actually didn't bring mine. Can I have some? From, this is from Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. I'm just gonna use a little bit because I'm gonna go in with another primer on my T-zone. I have fake tone on my face, so I'm looking pretty brown. Mm -hmm. I was squeezing my blackheads again on my nose and on my chin, so I look a bit reddish here and there. But yeah, I'm using the Tatcha Silk Canvas. You know you're supposed to use this with a brush. Yeah, I don't care. Because you keep dabbing your dirty fingers inside. No wonder <laughs> you have so many spots. Hello! It's not because of that. No, I'm gonna have it because I'm using your product. <laughs> okay, into the foundation. We're gonna use the Huda Beauty Fox filter because we need a full coverage for all night. And I think I'm gonna mix it with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the color 5.75. I'm gonna apply the Huda Beauty first. Yeah, me too. Oh, you can see how full coverage it is. To be honest, this is great to mix with like a lighter coverage foundation. Although this is quite light. I have a headache. I was in the Uber for one hour coming here. Because I couldn't drive because obviously we're going for the party and I'm going to drink. Mm -hmm. So I had to Uber and this guy was really annoying. He almost kicked me out because he didn't want to go into the congestion charge. <laughs> and it's stunk in that car. Why does every Uber stink? Like, what is this? Not all of them do. The ones that I always have to Because do. imagine, yeah, Uber has to take so many people like around. People stink. I mean, not everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, I don't know, like, imagine hundreds of people in the same car all day. Well, they need the air freshener then. Hmm. Or something. This is a really nice finish it gave. It gave a full, but like a kind of glowy. I'm not, actually, I'm not gonna put this one in. Really? Yeah, because I want the absolute full coverage. Like, I don't want to be... Because my face is a bit spotty and red. But you know sometimes when you have a spotty face, the more full coverage you put, the worse it looks. That's actually true. I didn't put that much. Right, some contour. Just a slight. How are we getting on with the time? It's already 5.30. Concealer. Tarte Shape Tape, obviously. I don't think I can live without this concealer. Yeah. I don't think I can. It's one of those concealers that you just can't go back to some, I mean, you can't use something else. No. Can't. <laughs> so yesterday I went to this amazing new restaurant in London. It's called Amazonico. Is it called Amazonico? Really? Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. It's like a jungle inside, like an Amazonian. And it's got a very like amazing, interesting food. I had frog legs yesterday. Was it? Were they good? Yeah, so good. It oh, tastes like chicken. I love frog legs. We used to have it in Poland, so mm. we're used to that kind of food. But I think it's my new favorite restaurant. I just love the vibe. Everything was green and beautiful. Mm. And it's a great location as well. It's like Berkeley Square. It's only been open for four days. 
Really? And you already can't get a reservation. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna be my new favorite. I wanna go one day. We should definitely. This is the Anastasia powder in vanilla. Our go to at the moment. Yeah. Super full coverage. To be honest, we should switch it up for the videos and use different products. We have a few different products here for this video, but maybe next one will be like all new products. Because mm -hmm. I like doing these videos. I'm gonna put a little bit here as well. Powder foundation on top for that extra coverage. This is from Kat Von D and I've been really liking this. Medium 140. That is the color. I'm actually gonna use a different one. I'm gonna use this Dolce Gabbana um, powder foundation in the color Warm. This is the one that I have it always in my bag. Looks like that. For touch-ups. Yeah, it comes with like a little thing for touch-ups. I use this where I'm like out and about to touch up my face. I'm gonna use this today as well. This is like some flawless coverage right there. Mm. Look, I literally feel like I have a filter on my face. Oh my god, me too. It's no, like a really filter. Look at it. The powder is good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do the brows off camera, so yeah, easier and quicker. We're gonna use the Benefit powder yeah. in the color 5. We've got the brows on. Yeah, looking snatched. We did them a little bit dark today because we're doing a smoky eye. Uh, we're gonna use this Tarte palette. Tartelette. And these are the colors. They're very kind of neutral. It's kind of like cool. Cool. There is a black, there is some browns. We're gonna use that. We wanna do like a smoky kind of eye. Yeah. Not quite sure what we're gonna do yet, but. We're just using this color called Wanderer. <laughs> I used actually natural beauty as well. Really? A little bit, yeah. Tape. Let's do the tape. Because it's all about the eyeliner for this look. I don't really like using tape, but I do. Why? Because it gives such a it's so much easier to to do your makeup with, especially eyeliner. But then it takes off the foundation. No, it doesn't. That should be fine. So we're gonna kind of like smoke out the the eyeliner. Yeah. Should we put a bit of the light color on the lid? Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit of that color. So we're gonna do the liner first using the Huda Beauty liner. We'll first do a nice big chunky liner and then we're gonna smoke it out. This liner is really good. It's very black. Yeah. You don't have to be perfect with this liner because we're gonna be using some eyeshadow to kind of smoke it out more and blend everything together. So you can just be a bit sloppy with it. Not too sloppy though. Right. That looks fine. <coughs> We're gonna use the black color and we're gonna kind of smoke out this liner. I do not like to use black eyeshadow. <laughs> freaks me out and then later what we're gonna do we're just gonna add a little bit of like brown to make this more blended I would say I'm not quite sure what this look is about but we're going for it the key to it is to keep applying the shadow and then blending it and then just applying and blending it Something like that. Just like a basic smoky eye. I mean, not that basic, but you know what I mean. Pretty yeah. basic. 
We kind of lost that light color, but fuck it. <laughs> I don't know why, but smoky eye is always difficult. Yeah, it is. Especially matte smoky eye. Because matte smoky eye is very difficult to blend, you know? Hmm. Uh, we look fucking crazy. We look like Amy Winehouse. <laughs> or at least I do. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna fix it somehow. I'm trying to kind of make like this cat eye. It's just not going to. It doesn't want to cooperate with me. Maybe I'm just gonna add like a brow bone highlight first. Before. I think that was a bad idea. Why are we experimenting when we're going for a fucking event? What is wrong with us? Fine. To look good at the end. Trust me. Just keep applying eyeshadow. <sighs> good job I don't have any fallout yet from the shadows. Yeah. This is going to be a very smoky situation. I want to take off the tape and see. Oh, not too bad. You can clean up a little bit, but it will do for now. I'm just gonna do the bottom lash line with a lot of black. Right, I'm gonna take mine as well. Since we're going for that very smoky eye look. Oh yeah, nice. You see how much I love the tape? Quite sharp. It's very sharp as you can see. You can clean it up a little bit with a... Um, because mine is going a, a bit a weird direction. I want it to go more in. So you can add a bit if you want. Okay, eyeliner. The black eyeliner and the waterline. Because now we look crazy. When they do... Like when makeup artists do makeup and they do smoky eye and they don't put black eyeliner here. Oh yeah, it's the worst disaster. Yeah, but at least like a dark kind of pencil, you know? Mm. All right. This eyeliner is super black. I love it. Yeah, look how stupid you look when you don't have it. And when you have it. It makes your eyes bigger, but we're not going for that look. Yeah, we're going for the sultry look, you know, for that. We actually haven't done a smoky eye. For a long time. I don't even think we ever did a smoky eye on the video. This smoky. Hmm. I'm sure it's gonna look good in the dark. <laughs> no one's gonna see the choppiness of it. Yeah. Right, let's put some inner corner highlight. Oh, you see the difference? Maybe we should be a bit faster. Yeah, we're just like taking our time. We still have to do the hair. Right. Mm. Use my mascara. I'm gonna use mascara. And we'll quickly finish off the face. Right. Contour. I'm gonna use using the Dior Benefit Hula. Bronzer. I brought a few different ones. I brought this um, Too Faced because it's got shine to it and it's quite dark, which I like. Oh, it smells so nice. It's like cookies. Oh, it's gingerbread. Oh, damn, I'm going heavy on the bronzer. Oh, that is very dark. Oh, shit. You know, it's fine. It's gonna be dark there. But at least I won't be white. A lot on the... Oh! oh. <laughs> now that I said... I said... The... <laughs> this dark, this product, don't use that much. It's alright. I think I'm gonna go over with like a... A lighter version. Of a I think you have enough of bronzer, really. I don't think I'm gonna use 
more bronzer. What's that? That's dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look how white my teeth are. Because I'm so brown. I actually didn't put fake tan. So I look a bit patchy. Oh my goodness, I put too much on my ear. Uh, let's use some blush. Um, oh, that will do. Shall we use... I brought this with me. The Peachy Duo from Anastasia. This color. Mine's flossed. I don't know why. This one's really nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's strong. I have to blend it. Fuck. Yeah, but it's... If you blend too much, you're gonna lose all your work, you know? Yeah, I guess we're going for that blushed cheek look. All right, let's do the highlight. Shall we use this one from Ofra? Oh, that's pretty. This is Ofra Rodeo Drive. It's uh, very nice. Wow, this highlight is great. Ooh, looking good. Okay, um, what else? We're gonna also use a bit of the, the diamond bomb from Fenty Beauty. Yeah, it gives that sparkle, you know. Look at that. When you're at night, it kind of... Just like, just a touch. Look a touch on top. I can't really see it now, but it, it's really... Okay, we're gonna put some lashes and we're gonna use the Lily Lashes in Monaco. They're quite dramatic but and spiky. Yeah, they look so pretty. Okay, we've got the lashes on. Yeah, feels better. Looking rather dramatic, this makeup. Very dramatic. But it's fine once we put the lips, once we do the hair. Yeah should be good okay we i think we're gonna put some crystals yeah on the eyes we're gonna make this look extreme because we want something a bit shiny you know because it looks very black and very matte very matte and black and, and my dress is with a lot of crystals yeah we are oh these are pretty so We've got these ones from Amazon and they are all different sizes. I think we're gonna use the two last sizes, the little ones. Oh yeah. So it's not too much. Yeah. We're just gonna put a few, just maybe on the outer part. And we're gonna use this uh, Velour Lashes Glue, which looks absolutely disgusting. It's from the last video that we did. <laughs> but this is the clear glue and it works really well with crystals. So we're just gonna place that a bit on the lid of something. I'm just going to use a, a tip of a brush and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it into the glue, put the glue on my lid and then place the crystal on top. Yeah, I think that's the easiest and fastest way to do it. Oh yeah, that works. Oh, that looks actually so nice. Look at it. It looks really nice with the black. We love crystals these days. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, so pretty. So, where else shall we place this? I guess one like along here, the brow bone. One here and then one at the end, I say. Two little small ones. Mm, I think that's enough. Because I feel like if we're gonna put more, we're just gonna look crazy. Because we already look crazy, you know what I mean? Maybe we should bake. We never bake. Give me that powder. I'm gonna bake a little bit. Let's get the contour snatched. All right. So we only use a couple of crystals and I think that's a nice kind of a settle shiny look i think i'm just gonna use for lip liner this urban decay that's literally this small because it's my favorite 
Oh yeah. I'm using Whirl by MAC. Okay, for lipstick I'm gonna use the Beach Babe from Tarte. It's a nice... Oh, nude. Nude. Yeah, that looks quite nice. We're going for that nude nude. Yeah, give me some. Oh, it's extra nude. I'm just gonna blend it a bit. And we're gonna put some lip gloss as well. Should we use this new one from Fenty? Yeah, we've got this new Fenty gloss in the color Sweet Mouth. And it's quite light. So I think it's gonna... Oh, Oh, That's quite a glam. Mm. Right there. It's so shiny. I mean, I don't think there is a, a better gloss than Fenty glosses. I'm sorry. Mm. It's got that perfect shine and not sticky and tastes good and yeah, it's just beautiful. All right, the makeup is done. Yeah, maybe we should put some Fix Plus. I've got this MAC Fix Plus that has this gold shimmer inside. Oh yeah, shall we use that? Yeah, so we're extra shimmery today. But you have to be quite far from it, so... Oh, oh, yeah, it's quite, um, it's quite strong. So this glam is complete. Let's do the hair now. We're yeah. gonna zoom out a little bit and yeah, we should do the hair Let's now. Let's work on this mess. <laughs> it's time to do the hair. As you can see, because we have super dark eyes, our hair like this wouldn't look good. So we have to kind pull of it back. pull them back. So you see? See the difference? It's much better, right? Right? And then when you have it like that, it's just... Yeah, it doesn't do it. It's too much everything. So my hair, I've washed it yesterday and I actually had it curled. So I've got some sort of a wave, but I'm gonna add more curls to it. But I think first we're gonna put them up, right? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of this um, root touch-up because my roots are a little bit... I'm know. gonna do this at the end. Because you do this when you, once you have your hair up. But I like to put first a little bit and then do it again because it's just easier like that for me. So I think we're gonna go for that half up, half down look. Right, we need a very high pony and a lot of glue. You this, see? This is why I do this first because once you put this on, it's quite difficult to then... Mm, I don't mind. And this is a brush from Kent. We got it at Boots. It's the best for smoothing those edges. Yeah, like that. It's a difficult procedure. This. You might need few attempts, actually. Ugh, I've got too much damn hair. Or you can just smooth it up and then bobby pin everything properly. Yeah. I didn't quite do this one properly. I'm gonna have a break. So what I like to do is I like to take a lot of hair and just leave just like this much because then I have a lot of volume at the top and that's what I need. I need a lot of hair there. See how good this glue is for snatching the hair? I think I have to do this again. <laughs> we and our fucking hairstyles, I swear. <laughs> We're so bad at it. it. I don't know, I think it's more difficult when you're on the video for some reason. And when you have long ha hair. Right, I'm gonna do this really tight, or at least I'll fucking try. So, the event's starting in 15 minutes, <laughs> and we're here, bloody doing videos, struggling with the fucking head. I don't know what, what we're thinking. I don't know what is wrong with us. Look how many bloody baby hairs I've got. What the hell? Yeah, this is a deal breaker. Like, look how nice it's 
smooths. We also use these thick hair ties. We got it from Boots. This gives you actually more, more volume because the hair tie is thicker. So it kind of sticks out more. Why do I feel like my pony is like going that way? Oh shit, it actually is. <laughs> oh my god. Look at it. <laughs> Bloody hell. We'll fix this. There we go. She's nice and straight. The only problem is I don't have much hair here to make this nice and thick. Because we need to wrap this hair tie so you can't see it. I fucking hate doing hairstyles. <laughs> this is why when we do get ready with us is only makeup, you know? I ain't got time for this shit. Oh god. <laughs> We need Jen Atkin in our lives. Mine is too low. Oh fuck. Mm. I look like I'm going to fucking school. <sighs> Breathe. It's fine. We Breathe. only we only have to finish this hairstyle and do pictures and like twenty thousand other things. <laughs> but we'll make it. We'll make it to the party <laughs> one day. Okay, bobby pin that shit. Okay, I think this is better. Okay. <sighs> Finally. It takes a bit of patience, which I don't have, but... You can see my bobby pin, but I really don't care at this stage. I need to add some black here. Right, so my hair is like about still here, but I'm gonna go extra and I'm gonna add this track because I want volume and I want a lot of thick hair and my hair has been struggling. I mean, it looks pretty good, but you know, I want more. Okay, we always want more. I'm gonna curl a few pieces. So it's a bit more curly not too curly because i kind of like this wave maybe i'm gonna curl these pieces because they're a bit straight you know i'm also gonna curl my hair i think i need to cut my hair fuck that yeah your hair's way too long I like this length of hair, you know, like be like just below the boob. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this up for now in the bun, just like that, and I'm gonna start curling this part quickly. I'm gonna use some heat protection. This is from Bumble and Bumble Thermal Protection Mist, and it smells so good. I think I think we blurred. Put these fucking things down. I didn't put them up. I mean, there we go. We're back. Oh, a lot of pain in my arm. Hmm. We're using uh, new me curlers. These are our favorite. Yeah, we've been using these for years, and they never disappoint. They make like the best curls. Yeah. This is the thicker bottle, and this is the thin one. I use the thicker one because I have shorter hair, so I can get away with it. But Claudia needs the thin one, so so my hair stays longer, stays curly longer. Anyway, I had some uh, funny story about this curler yesterday. It was on, on my carpet. And I was just like looking at my floor and I'm like, what the hell is this black, huge thing on my carpet? And I look closely and it's my goddamn carpet burning because this shit was on for God knows how long. I think it was on for literally four days because I didn't curl my hair. You know those carpets that we have are fireproof so you're lucky because otherwise you would fucking burn down the whole building. Yeah. 
you would yeah i know like i literally would kill my like i would kill everyone it's so bad i was literally when i saw this i was like ah! and there was so much stuff on this curler because it stuck to it like the carpet <laughs> i'm still doing it okay i cleaned it a little bit but you know all right those pieces are fine i'm gonna do a few at the front and i should be fine and then i'm gonna add my hair so we can quickly put on the outfit and show you the the final look yeah i only really wore hair extensions maybe like four times in my life for halloween and maybe for pictures i mean maybe more than four but like we never actually wear them out so i think this is new for me mm. but i just wanted to add to the volume you know i want a huge hair i guess we'll finish the hair and we'll be back because this is kind of boring to watch right yeah we'll, we'll just add some curls and then we'll be back with the rest of the hair tutorial if you will i'm kind of done with my curls i'm not gonna do more i'm just gonna keep it like this wavy let me add my track i'm just um curling the top part See, i'm just gonna add it like here at the bottom mm. i've never had a extension piece with this kind of hairstyle so i don't know how that's gonna be yeah not sure let me just do kind of this <laughs> my hand hurts already all right <sighs> okay we're gonna tease this part quite a bit that's the only way you're not gonna lose your hair is by teasing it a lot Tease that part where you're gonna place <coughs> it. Hmm. And then put the glue on top. And your hair isn't going anywhere. So, this is like a three piece track that is like super thick and nice. This is like a real hair. I don't know, I got this a long time ago for like Halloween. And it's already kind of curly, so I'm just gonna add that and hope it will blend. Usually it blends, but when I have it more higher, so I don't know how is that gonna work. All right, my the camera cut off, and I don't know if it cut me putting the extensions or not, but um, they're in. They're looking nice and full. As you can see, I have some nice wave going on. I'm slowly getting them with my curls. <laughs> Let me just fix this. Gotta like add some volume to this part because there is not enough hair. But because I don't actually have a lot of hair in this part of my head. Because I have a lot of layers there. So they're quite thin. Um, I'm gonna add some of my root touch up now. Just a little bit. So I don't look so bold. All right, the curls are done. Just gonna put a bit of hairspray to this area. And let it cool for a minute. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these bottom ones because they're already cool just with my fingers like that all right my hairline is snatched it looks less crazy in real life than maybe on a video but i'm also gonna add some what's that it's a bodybuilder i'm gonna use this to give some volume to my hair it's from living truth this is like a dry spray, right? It's like a texturizing kind of gives a lot of volume. Oof. I need this like here. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
that worked quite, quite nicely. You can make this a little bit more voluminous. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Did I spray in your You face? literally sprayed in my fucking eye. I'm sorry. You know? Like, actually in my eye. <laughs> I don't want to fucking lose my smoky eye. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll do this way. Like, easy, you know? You can kind of brush this through. They look a bit messy, but it's okay. By the time we put the actual... By the time we put the actual outfit on, we can fix that mm. later. Oh, actually, I forgot one thing. I forgot to wrap, wrap up my goddamn ponytail. I'm gonna have some shine spray from Bad Head. This is shine spray? Yeah. On this part. Because that's when you need that shine. I'm just Whoa. gonna wrap this. That's some extreme shine. Yeah, it's super nice, this product. I'm just wrapping up this so it looks nice and neat. Alright, I'm gonna pop my earrings on and we shall go to the bedroom and put the dresses on and leave perhaps <laughs> because it's already 9 o'clock. It was super light. The event started half an hour ago. Uh -huh. I guess the hair is good. Yeah, right. We just need to like, you know, shake it up a bit. We're gonna have them actually all in the back. Yeah, all like this. They're gonna be all in the back with so, the dress. Um, so that should be fine, really. I guess I'm also gonna put a bit of a shine spray. Just here at this part. Ooh, they're quite heavy. Yeah, they sure are. I'm not sure how I feel about these. Might change them. But yeah, all right, we are going to go and put our dresses on and show you the final look. Yeah, we are ready to go. We are going for the House of CB party, Christmas party. That's why we're wearing House of CB. This is like a skirt and a bodysuit. And this is the super cute dress with the faux fur. Nice. <laughs> Do I come to that? 